Morning brothers and sisters, just want to read uh, Psalm 23, small psalm, powerful. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. It's a very well-known psalm, obviously, and uh, portions of it are quoted all the time, but listen. This walking through the valley of the shadow of death, this is what we're called to as brothers and sisters, isn't it? We walk through the valley of the shadow of death. But can we learn to uh, lie down in green pastures? Can we find green pastures in the middle of the valley of the shadow of death? Can we fill, find still waters? Can we be still and refreshed in the middle of the valley of the shadow of death when some great calamity has, has come upon us? When we walk through a particularly difficult trial or circumstance, do we find the green valleys? Do we allow ourselves to be... Uh, he makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. Our soul takes a beating. There's no doubt about it as we walk through this, this narrow path that leads to life. It takes a beating, and it should take a beating because we're in a war, and it's warfare, and uh, we were not called to the bla the playground, we were called to the battlefield, and it's a battlefield. And the lessons in life that we learn as we walk through these the, the narrow path, some of it is long and deep and dark. But when we learn the lessons, brothers and sisters, that we could uh, allow ourselves to lie down in cream pastures, green pastures in the middle of the valley of the shadow of death, still waters, our soul, our soul being restored. Isn't that a marvellous thing? He anoints our head with oil, to be anointed with oil and our cup runneth over. It runs over. That's an abundance of blessing to be found in the valley of the shadow of death. There's treasures in the darkness to be found in the valley of the shadow of death. Even darkness is light to our God. Where could we flee from his spirit? Certainly not uh, walking through the valley of the shadow of death. He is with us. He leads us. He guides us. And even in that place, he disciplines us. His rod and his staff are with us to, to make sure that we stay on the right path. Unless we be overcome in the midst of the battle, he, he restores our souls. He refreshes our souls in, in a place where one would imagine that you could never be refreshed. But when you're walking through a particularly hard trial and, and, and perhaps you feel abandoned and suddenly the Lord is there, just one piece of manna to a starving man is like a feast, isn't it? Is that acceptable to you, brothers and sisters? To walk through the valley of the shadow of death? To find the treasures of darkness along that narrow path? A place, I would imagine, the valley of the shadow of death, a place where you would want to run through as fast as you could run through, and the Lord says, be still. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I can, even in this place, refresh your soul. I can lead you. I can make you to lie down in green pastures. I can feed your soul, even in the midst of a famine. I can water your, your thirsty spirit, even in the middle, middle of a valley, a, a valley of the shadow of death. We have a death valley here here in America. They call it Death Valley. The temperatures rise to incredible, like 140 degrees. Nothing really lives there. You don't want to get stuck 
going through there. They always tell you, make sure you've got plenty of gasoline, p plenty of petrol in your car because you don't want to run out of gas in the middle of Death Valley. If you have no form of communication, then you will probably surely die unless you have a... F Unless you could call somebody, but if if you can't get a signal and you've run out of gas, then you will die in Death Valley. So we can get a signal at any time. We have a connection to the Father, don't we? To the shepherd of our soul. We're never lost to him. He understands and sees and understands our need to be restored. He restores our soul. He makes us to lie down in green pastures beside the still waters. He prepares a table before us in the presence of our enemies. Oh, praise the Lord. Surely, surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. It will be running after you. Goodness and mercy from the living God, even in the midst of the darkest valleys, especially in the midst of the deepest and darkest valleys, even the valley of the shadow of death. Where could we flee from a spirit? The spirit of death comes looking for us. Can even then, can we, can we hide from his spirit? Especially then, the Lord can refresh our souls under any circumstances, any circumstances. It doesn't matter if you're in the valley of the shadow of death today. The Lord can and will come to you. He will come to you. Those who cry out to him, he will come to, the, to you right where you are. He will refresh your soul. He will bring you to a place of water. He will make you to lie down in green pastures. He can feed you anywhere. Even if everybody around you is starving to death, he can feed you, brothers and sisters, as you walk through this uh, long, dark valley. And every, every saint is called to walk through these the valley of the shadow of death. And not just once, we can walk this, this long, dark valley, but we learn to trust them as we go. And once you walk through one of these valleys, or more than one of these valleys, you understand and know that the Lord God himself came to you. And his hand was with you, and it was on you. And he led you through it, and he'll lead you through the next valley that you come to. As you walk, as you come home to him. It's all the one narrow path, brothers and sisters. It takes its way through many different topographies, up and over mountains, through valleys, through deep valleys, cross rivers, things that couldn't be done in the natural. God will take you through all of these things. God bless you.